Hello everyone, my name is Eric. Uh, joining me today, we have two guests. Uh, farthest to the right, we have Lockton Riley, and we have, of course, the Oz, who you've seen on this channel as well. The Oz. <laughs> you are watching Oakland Tobacconist. <laughs> So today we're actually going to be smoking the Obrigado from American Viking. If you guys have not tried this cigar, I highly recommend you do. It's kind of got some like wood notes. It's, to me, it's almost got a hazelnut uh, and like a butterscotch to it. But we are going to go ahead and cut this up. We're going to start uh, smoking and we'll tell you what our impressions are. Draw. It's got this warm like texture to it. Oh, it does. Oh, I agree yeah. with that. Yeah, it is. And that's where I think it has some of like the the hazelnut and some of the the butterscotch to it. Maybe caramel. It's got plenty of not too much of a punch to it, so that's nice. Yeah, it's not Connecticut. Uh, it's kind of got like the medium shade to it. Um, but anyways, we have been through quite an experience. In fact, uh, Lockton is still in the middle of that experience, and that is the El Dorado fire. And that's of course why we've been closed um, for this weekend and the previous weekend. And of course this started when I first heard about the El Dorado fire. I heard it starting on the other side of Bryant, which is probably, if you were to go by the crow flies, what do you say, about six miles? Yeah, no, no. Something like that, yeah. yeah. And uh, I heard about it at about 11.30, I guess it started on 10.30. It started over there and within hours, almost less than hours, it had reached up to Oak Glen towards my particular house and then of course his house is here in Oakland as well. But it was over there, so because we'd had the other one prior to that, the Apple Farm, mm -hmm. which came up and didn't get, it was on the other side of the hill from my, across from me. And then I didn't worry about it because it was on the other side over near your place. Was, right. I, I didn't worry about it at all and that was the, on the day. Sitting at home, enjoying my Saturday and then a friend calls, says hey, uh, you looking at the fire down at the bottom of the canyon? I said, all right, I'll go look outside. Walked outside, saw some smoke, wasn't too worried about it. And then within about an hour, it had gone from where it started uh, in Yucaipa, the El Dorado Park. And then uh, it was up on Yucaipa Ridge, which is about four or five miles from our house. And then uh, within about three hours, we had been evacuated because it had reached all the way from Yucaipa up to the... Uh, ridge above Forest Falls, which I think is Little San Bernardino. So at that point, I wasn't particularly worried because it was way over there. Yeah. And then at three o'clock in the morning, I'm woken up with all these flashing lights in my living room. And I, that was Monday. Morning, that was the right? next day. I looked out the back window, and the whole mountain behind here, where we're sitting up there, was ablaze. And then yeah. I, took, I went out and talked to the fire guy. I said, what happened? He said, at midnight, the wind came up. I mean, it drove them off the mountain. It was so crazy. And it just rocketed across here. And then it ended up over here. And then, then all bets were off. It's Monday morning uh, is when we got the call. I got a call from you. Um, and then I called my landlord, who lives on the same street as I do. And then I also called Devin Riley at Los Rios. And both of them said the same exact word that Oakland was on fire. And it had wrapped around the entire Glen. Oakland works as a U and it worked, wrapped around the entire Glen there and then started basically traveling down those mountain ranges towards population structures and businesses, essentially. So that is the beginning of the fire and that is the beginning of the cigar. We're gonna keep puffing on this. This is the Obrigado by American Viking. So we'll keep on smoking and we'll be right back to let you know what the second third tastes like. I feel like a lot of the giant companies, bigger companies, they'll make a cigar in the same, like, basic strength level, how strong it is, but its flavor is even more muted than the strength. So I feel like cigars like the Obrigado, even American Vikings, it's a whole new experience because it's, instead of just trying something with medium flavor and medium uh, strength, you get a ton of flavor, especially as it's getting into the next third. Some of those flavors to me seem to ramp up a little bit. Oh yeah, definitely. That's got more flavor. But also with all of the the things like we were saying, like it's got some wood in it, some hazelnut. It's very warm. There's like little to no pepper. Even on the retro hill, there's like almost no pepper. Yeah, yeah. When we were kids, if you had a wildfire, you know, we, this was way back before all the technology we had today. I mean, the whole town would just you just take a branch off a tree 
and the whole town would just go out and start beating on the ground, and then you grab another brand. So I mean, that's how. But way, I mean, that's how it went until yeah, yeah. You, you know. But yeah, and then you come over here, and then you see the way they they handle this. It's 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 amazing what they do. I Very mean, impressive. the way they coordinate it, and it's like a war. It, well, it is a war actually. Mm -hmm. But these guys are like generals and, and all that, the way they have all the people. It's really bitching to watch. I right. love it. Yeah, it's really organized. Right. Uh, on Monday, the fire was still just slowly burning down the ridge. Um, on that north face of the mountain, it just there's not as much undergrowth. It's all alpine, so all those pine trees. It takes a little longer to burn downhill, obviously. It's a little steeper, so the fire doesn't travel as fast down the hill. Um, but just being up here with that smoke, staying in the valley and I wasn't even carrying anything just walking up a hill was hard to do so you yeah, see these well, firefighters the and awesome. their their full gear full fire hoses walking up mountains it's, it's very very impressive yeah but on, on, on the west side of Oakland Road now is all that's left up here except yep. for this thin line yeah where all the residents are on this side of the road right. you wouldn't even know if it's where we're sitting here if you look around you you can't see any you wouldn't even know yeah. until you look up it's true because the uh hi hello I'm your local fire information guy. Oh, good. Sorry, uh, we're back. Yeah. We I actually we just got interrupted by um, one of the firefighters uh, that communicated with us, which is great. This is basically where the fire has been and where it's been moving. You probably can't read any of the um, the names. However, you can see the size of it. Um, and right now, I believe it's about almost 40% contained. So oh, good, good. That's good. really good. That's good. So yes, this, we're into the second third right now. Um, like I said, a lot of those flavors ramping up, but the cigar itself is not becoming too bitter or too oh, hot, no, which is great. No, no, no. Uh, this is a Nicaraguan Puro, um, so all Nicaraguan tobacco is inside of it. And so we're going to continue to puff on this, and we will be back with the final third. Okay, so we are back with the final third. It's beautiful. I mean, it does increase a little bit as it's going on, but uh, I don't know, it's not heating up at all. The flavor's still there. It's really yummy. I kind of feel like it even mellowed out a little bit. Yeah, it's not, yeah. yeah. I mean, the flavor is yeah. still definitely yeah, there. Yeah, the flavor's there. Uh, but the strength, mm -hmm. it's along. not harsh. Yeah, it's perfect for like in the morning or if you're not really in the mood for a heavy smoke. Like I said, that flavor's there, you won't get bored. Um, That's one thing that I do like about uh, the American Viking line is it's only, what, five cigars? But you have like your your full range in it. I feel yeah. like if you had the Filthy Viking, then you can move up to the Zebra, then you can move up to the Dama Velada, and then you can move to the Obrigado, and then the Box Press Rebellion. They've got a really well-rounded line. I think I smoked mine a little faster. You did. <laughs> I, was just, I was just letting his <laughs> just letting it marinate, simmer. Yeah. I'm old. I just take my time with things. These days. I'm just savoring every moment. You see. <laughs> but uh, in closing, we have been very blessed. The shop still stands. Uh, all three of our houses still stand. Um, it's been. Uh, a... You lost three cigars today, though. Yeah, that's true. We did. That's it. Cost we got three cigars. That's it. Yep, gone. Yeah. And they're still smoking the air from it. Yep. But. Um, Thank you guys for all your support, all of the prayers, and thank you to our first responders uh, for doing a magnificent job and just protecting all structures and people. Um, so we are open regular hours. Check us out on Instagram, Facebook, um, and we're also doing a tasting night next Friday at 6 o'clock. We have a few more spots. If you'd like to join it, contact us because those spots go really quick. Thank you again uh, for joining us on Oakland Tobacconist, where conversation lights up. Stay safe, everybody.